November 30th, 2014 from the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. It was the Arizona Cardinals at the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons won the toss and they elected to receive. So they would get the ball first. They'd start off on their own 29. They ended up faced with a third and four from the 35. And Matt Ryan hit Julio Jones for a nine-yard pass. They made it a first down on the Atlanta 44. Steve Jackson then ran for 55 yards and brought the ball all the way down to the one. But they would end up being faced with a fourth and goal from the one. They would go for it, and Matt Ryan threw a one-yard touchdown pass to Toya Lolo. So now the Falcons put the first points on the scoreboard as it was Atlanta 7, Arizona 0. So now the Cardinals would get the ball for the first time in this game, and they would go three and out on their first possession as they punted it to the Falcons, who now took over with ten and a half minutes left in the first. They had it on the Arizona 32. So there's actually a face mask. They ended up, Hester ran back the punt for a touchdown, but the touchdown was nullified because Hester ended up catching a face mask penalty. There was also an unsportsmanlike contact penalty against Atlanta. So the ball would end up on the 32, first down for the Falcons in Arizona territory. They ended up actually with a first and 25 because of the unsportsmanlike conduct. They were faced with a second and 24 from the 31, and Matt Ryan went to Julio Jones. He picked up 25 yards and the first down to make a first and goal on the six. Rodgers then lost three yards, but then Ryan went to Douglas for a seven-yard reception. It was now third and two, third and goal on the two. Matt Ryan dropped back to pass. He was intercepted by Powers, but then they challenged, and it ended up being reversed and called an incomplete pass. So now on fourth and goal from the two, Matt Bryant would come out to attempt a 20-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Falcons now extended their lead to 10 points with the score. Atlanta 10, Arizona nothing. So now the Cardinals would take over the second time this game. They had the ball on their own 20. They were faced with a third and eight from their own 22, and Drew Stanton went to Floyd. He picked up a first down in 10 yards. It was now on the 32, and then Drew Stanton dropped back to pass, and he was intercepted by Lowry. And so now the Falcons would take over on the Arizona 32. Then on second and 10 from the 32, Matt Ryan dropped back to pass, and he found Julio Jones for a 32-yard touchdown. And it was now 17 to nothing, Falcons over the Cardinals. So now the Cardinals would get the ball with a little less than six minutes left in the first. They had it on their own 18, but they would end up punting it five plays later from their own 33. So now the Falcons took over with about three and a half minutes left in the first. They had it on their own 20 on second and 10. Ryan went to Douglas. He picked up 14 on first down at the 34. They were then faced with a third and one from the 43. And Matt Ryan went to Devin Hester. He picked up 10 yards in the first down to bring the ball across midfield and into Arizona territory at the 47. Then on second and nine from the 46, Matt Ryan went to Julio Jones, and he picked up 16 yards in the first down at the Arizona 30 as the first quarter came to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was Atlanta 17, Arizona 0. So now to start the second quarter, the Falcons had the ball on the Arizona 30. It was first down. Matt Ryan then went to Rodgers for a five-yard pass, and that was second and five from the 25. Matt Ryan was in the shotgun, and he ended up being intercepted by Johnson. But then on the interception, he ended up running it all the way back, 88 yards for the touchdown and the pick six as the Cardinals finally got on the scoreboard in this game. They cut the Falcons' lead to 10 with the score, Atlanta 17, Arizona 7. So now the Falcons would get the ball back with about 14 minutes left in the second quarter. They had it on their own 21, but after six plays, they would end up punting from the Arizona 45. So now the Cardinals would get the ball backed up against their own end zone as they had it on their own four-yard line with about 11 minutes left in the first half. Drew Stan then dropped back, and he hit Carlson for a 27-yard reception. They made a first down on the 31. Then on second and 10 from the 31, Drew Stanton went to Floyd and he picked up 22 in a first down in Atlanta territory at midfield at the 47. Then on second and 7 from the 44, Drew Stanton went to Floyd. He picked up 13, but then he got blew up by Moore. He forced the fumble and Trufant recovered. So now it was Falcons ball on the Atlanta 40 with about 9 minutes left in the first half. They would go 3 and out though and they'd punt it back to the Cardinals who now took over on their own 20 with about 6.5 minutes left before halftime. 
They would end up, Drew Stan hit Ginn for a 19-yard pass that brought the ball to the 39, and then second and nine on the 40, Drew Stan went to Grice, and he picked up 15. So now it was a first down on the 45, and Drew Stan went to Ginn, and he picked up 22, and now it was a first down on the Atlanta 23. But they would end up stalling on the 26. Is Canton Zara would come out to attempt a 44-yarder. It was up. It was good. And it was now a seven-point game with the score Atlanta 17, Arizona 10. So now the Falcons would take over with about two and a half minutes left in the second quarter. They had it on their own 27. And then on second and eight from the 29, Matt Ryan hit Rodgers. He picked up the first down in 11 yards to bring it to the 40. Then on third and two from the 48, Matt Ryan went to Julio Jones. He picked up nine in the first down to bring the ball to the Arizona 43. Then on second and four from the 37, Matt Ryan was sacked for a seven-yard loss, but there was a legal contact called against Arizona, so it would be a first down on the Arizona 32 for the Falcons. They were then faced with third and six from the 28, and Matt Ryan went to Julio Jones. He picked up 17 yards in the first down in the red zone on the 11. There was then an offensive pass interference called that backed him up to the 21. And on first and 20, Matt Ryan with Julio Jones, he picked up 16. And it was now second and four from the five. And then on third and four from the five, with just three seconds left on the clock, they would bring out the field goal unit as Matt Bryan would attempt the 23-yarder. It was up, it was good. And the Falcons now extended their lead to 10 points going into the locker rooms at halftime with the score Atlanta 20, Arizona 10. So now to begin the third quarter, the Cardinals would have the ball first. They had it on their own 20. They were faced with a second and three from the 27. And Drew Stan with the Floyd, he picked up eight and the first down. There was a penalty against the Falcons, so it would be first and 10 on the 35. Then a penalty for a false start would bring him back to the 30. Then Drew Stan with Carlson, he picked up nine. But there was an illegal contact penalty against the Falcons. There's just flags everywhere. It was now first down on the 35 for the Falcons, or for the Cardinals on their own 35. So then they ended up with another penalty. This one offensive pass interference, and that was second and 18 from the 27. Drew Stanton then went to Brown. He picked up 13. They made it third and five, but an incomplete pass would bring out the punting unit. So now the Falcons would take over on their own 12 with about 11 minutes left in the third. They were then faced with a third and four from the 18, and Matt Ryan went to Hugh Douglas. Harry Douglas as he picked up 19. It was now first down on the 37. Matt Ryan then went to Julio Jones. He picked up 41 yards. There was a holding penalty against the defense, but they declined as it was a first down now on the Arizona 22 for the Falcons. Then on second and two from the 14, Steven Jackson picked up six in the first down. This is now first and goal from the eight, but they weren't able to get into the end zone, and so Matt Bryant would come out on fourth and goal from the three to attempt a 21-yarder. It was up. It was good as the Falcons extended their lead to 13 with the score Atlanta 23, Arizona 10. So now the Cardinals would take over on their own 20 with about six minutes left in the third, but after six plays, they would end up punting the ball from the Atlanta 46. So now the Falcons took over on their own 14 with less than three minutes left in the third. Matt Ryan went to Douglas. He picked up 18 yards in the first down at the 32. Then on second and six from the 36, Steven Jackson ran for seven at the first down at the Atlanta 43. Matt Ryan then scrambled for six, and the third quarter came to a close with the score Atlanta 23, Arizona 10. So now to open up the fourth quarter, the Falcons had the ball on their own 49. It was second and four. Matt Ryan then went to Douglas. He picked up 15 yards in the first down at the Arizona 36. Then on third and one, Steven Jackson got stuffed for no gain. And so out would come Matt Bryant to attempt the 45-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Falcons extended their lead to 16 with the score Atlanta 26, Arizona 10. The Cardinals would then go three and out on their next possession and punt the ball to Atlanta, who now would go three and out as well as they punted it back to the Cardinals, who now took over with about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. They had it on their own 29. Drew Stan then went to Brown, and he picked up 13 yards in the first down at the 42. Drew Stanton then went to Brown, and he picked up nine yards. It was second to one at the Atlanta 49. Stanton then went back to Brown. He picked up six yards, and it was now first down the Atlanta 43. Stanton then went to the other Brown, but he ended up with an incomplete pass. And now on second and ten, Drew Stanton dropped back, and he was intercepted by Wilson as the Falcons now took over at midfield on their own 47 with a little over seven minutes left in the fourth. 
They would end up being faced with a third and 12 from the 44. And Matt Ryan went to Julio Jones. He picked up 16 and the first down. It was actually a holding call against Arizona, but it was declined as the Falcons now had a first down on the Cardinals' 28-yard line. They would then end up faced with a fourth and one, and they would end up going for a field goal, but there was a penalty against the defense for offsides, and so instead of the field goal, which was good, a 38-yarder, it ended up being a first down for the Falcons on the Arizona 15 because of the offsides penalty. Steven Jackson ran for three yards and four yards, and now it was third and three from the eight. They lost a yard. Freeman lost a yard, and so now Matt Bryant would come out to attempt a 28-yard field goal. And this one was up, it was good, and it was now a 19-point lead for the Falcons with the score Atlanta 29, Arizona 10. So now the Cardinals would take over on their own 20-yard line with about two and a half minutes left in this game, trailing by three scores. They had second and 10 from the 20, and Drew Stanton went to Brown. He picked up 23 yards and the first down. That brought us to the two-minute warning. As the Cardinals now had the ball on their own 43. Stanton then went to Carlson. He picked up an 11 and a first down on the Atlanta 46. Then Stanton went to Brown. He picked up 27. And the Cardinals used their last timeout. Stanton now had a first down in the red zone on the Air Atlanta 19. Then on second and six from the 15, Drew Stanton went to Brown. He picked up 12, and it was now first and goal on the three, and Stanton went to Taylor for the three-yard touchdown pass. They ended up going for a two-point conversion, and they succeeded as Taylor ran it in. And so now it was an 11-point game with the score Atlanta 29, Arizona 18. The Cardinals went for an onside kick because they needed two scores, and there was only about a minute left on the clock. Atlanta recovered it, and so now all that was left to do was for Matt Ryan to take two knees as this game came to a close. And the final score, Atlanta 29, Arizona 18. And with the win, the Falcons remain in first place in the NFC South with a record of 5-7. and seven. They're 3-3 three and three at home. The Cardinals are 9-3 and three on the season. They're 3-3 three and three on the road. And they remain in first place in the NFC West. In this game, Matt Ryan was 30 for 41 with 361 passing yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. He actually had four yards off of three carries on the ground as well. Drew Stanton was 24 for 39 with 294 passing yards, one touchdown, and two interception. He had seven yards off of one carry on the ground. And the leading rusher in this game was Steven Jackson. He had 18 carries for 101 yards. And the leading receiver was Julio Jones. He had 10 receptions for 189 yards and a touchdown. Douglas had 116 yards and 9 receptions for Harry Douglas. And the leading receiver for the Cardinals was Jerron Brown. He had 7 receptions for 75 yards. John Brown had 2 receptions for 40 yards. Ted Ginn Jr. had 4 receptions for 61 yards. And Michael Floyd had 5 receptions for 53 yards. And on defense, the leading tackler in this game was actually Larry Foote for the Cardinals. He had 12 tackles. The leading tackler for Atlanta was Paul Worlow. He had 8 tackles. Cromartie had 8 tackles for the Cardinals. For Atlanta, they didn't have any sacks. The one sack in this game was for the Cardinals, and that was Alexander. And each side had picks. Johnson had the lone pick for the Cardinals, and the Falcons had two picks as Lowry and Wilson each got picks. So the Falcons come up with a big win in Atlanta. So they keep pace in their division, and they are in first place. And the final score in this one, Atlanta 29, Arizona 18.